Here's a flash revision guide on atoms, elements and compounds including the differences between atoms and molecules, what makes elements and compounds different and writing equations for chemical reactions. Let's get into it. Every single substance in the whole universe is made out of atoms. They are the smallest part of an element that can exist. You can have different types of atoms based on what elements are present in a substance. An element is defined as a substance that only contains one type of atom and every single element can be found in the periodic table. There are around 100 discovered elements and each one has a chemical symbol. For example, oxygen has a symbol of O and sodium has a symbol of Na. So if you had a block of sodium and you were to zoom into it, you would find that it's only made out of sodium atoms because it's an element. Compounds on the other hand contain two or more elements that are chemically combined in fixed proportions. Water, for example, is made out of the element hydrogen and oxygen in fixed proportions of two hydrogens and one oxygen. If you were to zoom into water, you would find H2O molecules floating around. Molecules are two or more atoms that are held together by a chemical bond. So in this case, it would be two hydrogen atoms bonded to an oxygen atom. However, this does not mean molecules only make up compounds. For example, oxygen has the formula O2, so if you zoomed into oxygen gas, you would find that it is made out of molecules of two oxygen atoms bonded together. This means that it's still an element as it's only made up of one type of atom, but it exists in the form of molecules. Now, compounds can be formed from elements during chemical reactions. So if you were to get hydrogen and oxygen gas and react them, you can form water. We can represent the reaction using a word equation, which will give us hydrogen plus oxygen goes to water. Or you can rewrite this as a symbol equation, where hydrogen is H2, oxygen is O2, and water is H2O. In a symbol equation, the equation needs to be balanced, which we'll go through in another video, but by doing that, you get two H2s and two H2Os. And that's it for that topic, guys. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.